Hey everyone, welcome back to KBS Necrocraft tutorial Mastering Unit Testing using PY Test Part 3 Test Specializer using PY Test. Today, in this tutorial, we are going to understand what is test fixer, how to use test fixer, fixer type like custom, system defined, and which type how to define and how to use it. And then we will try to understand fixer scopes like function, module, and session scope. And then we will try to understand advantage of text fixer. Before we drive into today's video, I wanted to take a moment to invite you to join my channel KBS Technograph. If you like what you see, please consider hitting the subscribe button. By subscribing, you will never miss out our latest videos and updates. Your support through subscribing would be greatly appreciated and it will help me to continue creating valuable content for you. So, first we will try to understand what is fixer and where it is used. So, fixer are defined as regular python functions decorated with at the rate py test fixer which is part of py test module. The fixer function can perform any setup action such as creating test data, initializing resources or setting up configuration. The fixer function should yield response that need to be used in the test and optionally include teardown action after the yield statement happen. So, let us consider a very simple example and we will try to go through example and try to understand here. So, I have done the environment setup here, but if you have not yet done environment setup and you want to learn it how to do environment setup for PY test, then I highly recommend you to refer the part 1 tutorial where I have mentioned how to do the environment setup. So, now I will create a simple file where we are going to write how to define a fixer. So, let me create a file here, okay, test and then simple fixer. We are going to import py test now, then we are going to define a function called setup. You can give any name and then we are going to define a variable x equal to 10 for time being and then I am going to define yield, yield and then this and we want to make it as a fixer then we have to decorate with the attributes. So, py test then we have to define fixer. We need not to pass any parameter here, just say decorator, we need to decorate it and then we are going to create a two functions, test functions basically. We are going to use that setup. So, test fixtures one setup and then I am just simply putting a short setup is not equal to 0 and then I will copy same and I will paste it to create a second method here. I will just rename as a second method. And I will just mention not equal to two, this two. Okay, save it, and then we'll try to run. It. So both the test cases should get passed because ten is not equal to zero. So this is very basic skeleton how to define a fixer. So we define a function on top of that we are decorating this as a fixer, and then we are using that fixer into the functions. It's so, if you see the function name and the test function parameters are same. So, that is how this correlated. Now, we will try to understand the flow, how it works. So, let us say define here print and then I will mention setup function call, call and then after this 
I will mention print here, here down function alt. Okay, and we so what will happen here? Each test function available in this class or module, what will happen? It will call wherever you are passing as a parameter as a setup, then every function will call this fixature and tear down. So let's run this in debug mode and see that what is the output. Okay, now to see the output, we need to go and go on terminal and we need to go debug console. So if you see, if you see here, what we are, we can see that the setup function called and then teared out function called. So what happens every time when a test is started execution, then it will call this setup and tear down functions. Okay, now we will create other fixer where we are going to return an object from there. So what I will do, I will try to create other class and I will say test object return fixer dot py you can give any name it's fine and here in this what I have done is I have imported the py test and then I created a setup function is called test data you can give any name and this we are assigning some value here and then we are returning that here we are not using yield because we do not want to tear down that so it will happen automatically so we are uh, creating a test function where we are trying to assure that value whatever we done in the setup is working fine or not so we will go again in test class and before that we'll save it and go into the test class test explorer and then try to run it so we are able to see our test example is there if you run it we'll be able to see that our test case is getting passed so let's say consider if you want to check that it's working fine or not we will run and we run it we'll see that this test case is getting filled because instead of ls we i have mentioned that ls1 so that's why this test case is getting filled now so to correct it we have to revert back to old one so this is how we can define a fixture with returning or having a object value now there is a possibility that you can use some of the system defined a uh, fixture so there are few system defined fixtures are there which we can use it few of them are like request in order to understand the system defined we will try to create a new test class and then we'll give the test system defined and let's make it py Okay, we'll import py test and then it will define the test. Now, if you see in this test, we are having a request of parameters in this test function. From where this, because this is how, if you see the previous example, we have used our own defined function, but this is, these are the system defined fixture which we can use in our code so this fixtures need not to be defined anywhere in our test case it's already available into the py test module we can just choose it there are a few more this is one of the example which i'm trying to say that so that so if i run this if i save this and go in the test explorer and you will be able, let me run into the debug mode Okay, so if you go in terminal, you will be able to see the output of this. So if you see, we are able to see this output here. Collected one item. 
and then you can look on other functions as well other fixer as well so let me try to show you some other fixer let other system defined fixes are temp directory so these are very commonly used uh, you know uh, uh, system defined fixes which we can use it so i will try to uh, write a simple example where we are going to use the temp directory fixer in that we are going to inject the temp directory fixer or parameters into our test function so for that i'm going to create a new class here or file here and then i'm test system defined fixture one something like that and we need to import that py test import py test here yeah. here we are trying to write a file into the temp directory and create a file into the temp directory and also we are going to write some messages or text over there and then we are trying to validate that content is whatever we have written that contents is there or not similar way there are few more like cap log which is also very popular uh, system defined fixture which captures log message generated during the test execution allowing you to capture and inspect your log output for example if you are having an application or function which logs some message into the log and you want to verify that log messages in that case we can use that cap log which is a system defined fixture which we can use it then we have a other important system defined fixture is called config and config is provide access to configuration setting of py test allow you to retrieve and modify various configuration options during the test execution so these are the very commonly used system defined fixer now we'll try to understand scope of fixer in example whatever we have seen that today in this we have never ever defined scope here so for example this in this we are not defining any scope of this fixer but we can define a fixer scope by passing here scope equal to now we can pass here to like module or we can pass session by default if, if you don't define any parameter here it will consider on function level that means the scope will be on function level so to understand here there are three scopes are there function module and session okay so when we sh should use a session for example session scope basically when you are having some initialization for your test execution which you want to do only one time during the one session of the test execution so for example uh, let's say consider you have a some some database communication you want to initiate one session or you want to mark a database session one time then you will create a fixer by making that scope as a session and you will be using that wherever is required throughout the test cases so i hope i try to cover all about the fixer and if you like what you see please try to subscribe my channel and it will help me to create more content like this so if you have not yet subscribed please hit the subscribe button and join my channel thank you